This paper presents a flower modeling technique that utilizes an X-ray computed tomography system. At the beginning, we take a CT scan of a sample flower and obtain a CT volume that captures internal structures of the flower. We then interactively model flower organs by using the flower CT volume as a guide. To support an efficient and intuitive modeling process, we present a novel user interface specialized for flower organs. We also introduce new active curves and surfaces to fit a shaft and a sheet to a CT volume. With our technique, occluded internal structures and wavy freeform surfaces of a flower are correctly reconstructed. We present a component-wise interactive workflow. The user first binarizes the input flower CT volume and then models flower organs such as stem, receptacle, pistils, stamens, petals, and sepals. At the beginning, the user first sets a threshold to binarize the input flower CT volume. The boundary surface of the foreground voxels is generated for visualization. The user models a stem and receptacle. This organ is represented by a shaft primitive with a top ellipsoid. Our active curve serves as the shaft axis. To model this organ, the user places a cross section by drawing a cut stroke and specifies control points by clicking on the cross section. Then a shaft primitive is generated. Our active curve serves as a shaft axis and fits the medial axis of the binarized foreground. The user interactively divides the shaft into stem and receptacle parts and modifies the radius of the top ellipsoid. To enhance subsequent modeling process, we provide two types of cross-sections. One is a planar cross-section. This is useful for dealing with organs along a flower axis. The other is ellipsoidal cross-section. This is useful for modeling radially arranged organs. Next, the user models pistils and stamens one by one. These organs are represented with a shaft and a head. The user first adds a new object from the dialog and then places control points on the cross-section. A shaft is generated. To model the head part, the user switches to a head mode and adds seeds. A head is then generated by a region growing method. Next, the user models petals and sepals. This organ is represented with a sheet primitive consisting of beam and boundary curves and an active surface. To model a petal, the user first adds a new object from the dialog. The user adjusts the position of the cross section and sequentially clicks on it. The clicked points are automatically connected to generate a beam curve. After beam curve placement, a boundary curve is automatically computed so as to follow the edge of the target petal. Next, the active surface is optimized such that it interpolates the curve network consisting of the beam and boundary curves and fits the target petal region. Our technique is able to reconstruct a petal that contacts other petals a lot. Our technique is also available to a petal with a wavy boundary shape. To trace a sharp boundary of a petal, we allow the user to specify additional constraints. We show flower models reconstructed with our technique. For these flower models, we mapped textures obtained from photographs of the sample flowers. Because the flower models are reconstructed from real-world samples, they are potentially suitable for botanical observations as well as for use in realistic animations and simulations.